because of my, my the training of my mother and her friends who taught us black history lessons during February, it unleashed this yearning to understand more about me and my people and the history of my people. All of those things are uh, fragments of who we are. And if we can pull together those fragments individually and collectively, it enhances the growth of the one. What's inspiring me to dream today is a lot of things. Friends who I see do amazing things for themselves. Honestly, just being outside in these streets, I, I walk down and I just find inspiration in everyday interactions. I never used to think it was that important for me to even be in front of the lens doing what I do until I looked around and I couldn't see no one else who looked like me doing it. What really inspired me to dream, I would say, are my parents. My father's a Vietnam vet, my mom desegregated schools. So just to think about, you know, what they were able to accomplish, I was just like, well, we can do even more. Surrounding yourself with people who dream big really was the cheat code. And so that's why she's staying right here. <laughs> um, because Kiana really is an inspiration to dream big every day. My parents instilled a sense that I could truly do whatever it is that I wanted to do. My dad worked so hard to ensure that we lived a life of purpose, that we lived a life that was rooted in service, that was rooted in community. Meeting P.H. Polk was transformative for me. Polk was making pictures of our people that I had never seen before. He showed the decency, dignity, and virtuous character in people of color. I was really astounded because these images looked like the people that I knew. I said, Mr. Polk, I want to learn how to be a photographer because there are people in my hometown who look just like this, people who I grew up with. In New York, I was happy to spend all my time between Harlem and Brooklyn, the two black communities. That's where I wanted to be, and that's what I wanted to record. I'm, I'm about capturing the memory of, of our existence. We all definitely have a role in preserving our culture, our legacy, our histories. We have the receipts. There has been a categorical misrepresentation of our history. So it's really important that we uncover it, that we honor it, um, but also that we continue to grow upon the legacy of it. We are interested in building a collection, assortment of items that represent the multitudes that we have been and that we are. I think when we look to the margins, we look for the most marginalized among us, we open up room for all of us. Photographing the Morehouse collection for Ralph Lauren and the Rake was an honor. The history behind HBCUs is, for me, something that we don't have in the UK. It was like, one of my favorite shoots. I'm seeing a generation of young black people that just inspire me every single day. Seeing someone that looks like you and has a similar background do something extraordinary opens up the world of possibilities to other young people. For future generations, it's really about including them in the conversation, demonstrating that you can use our history to have a really bright future. I hope that other people, when they see my work, they are first amazed at what they see, but realize that, hey, another black person did this. You also have a path. Let my path just be a part of the light that takes you from where you are now. You have your own story. And off of that story, you're going to build other stories. I guess there's nothing more galvanizing than a sense of history. And I think that's what heritage gives us. It's like an echo. It gives you something to echo against. It uh, enhances our sense of being and our confidence that, that we can be the makers of our dreams.